I've been learning game development for about a year and a half now. Here's my story of how I got started with very little prior experience and some highlights of what I learned along the way. Way back 30 years ago in a year known only as 2020, wait, that was only two years ago? What the? For years, all I wanted to do was tell stories and make art for a living. In 2020, the landscape completely changed and a lot of avenues I had previously considered no longer felt viable to me. So one day I was walking along and I stumbled upon a Thomas Brush video. In the video, Thomas said, you can be a full-time game dev. Then suddenly, something clicked. Game dev was a combination of all of the things that I loved and it seemed possible to sell what you create. Maybe? Back in college, I had made a simple rollerball game, and that was pretty much all the experience that I had had in Unity. So I went to Unity's website and started doing some of their tutorials. My first attempt at creativity in one of these tutorials was trying to make one of the guns into a hot dog that could shoot ketchup. It was pretty broken, and I didn't even know it at the time, but after that, I was finally ready to start making my first game. Or so I thought. For my first game, I wanted to make a Metroidvania. I was, like many indie devs, highly influenced by Hollow Knight. I was playing it at the time, and then after doing a little bit more research... It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. It was about a clown, and he was gonna be in this dark prison. After following a bunch of tutorials, I had something, but it kind of just felt like a stitched together mess. So I decided to take a game dev course. Since Thomas Brush had been such a positive impact on me, I decided to take his course full-time game dev, which not only covers game creation, but also covered a wide variety of business topics. He didn't sponsor this or anything, but it's definitely worth checking out. After finishing the course, I decided that I needed more practice. So I joined the Brackies Game Jam. The theme was It's Not Real, and so I created this kind of alien simulator sort of puzzle game. I ended up with a very small and short game, but I learned a lot about animations and how to make interactable items in your game world. Next, I did the Lost Relic game jam. The theme for this one was connection, and so I made this office space where you had to get to know all of your coworkers, ultimately trying to become the CEO. And so I made this game that was called You Know CEO. It's certainly not a perfect game by any means, but it taught me more about dialogue systems and how to make things more modular. After that, I went back to my first puzzle game and was starting to adapt it into a longer, more fleshed out demo. I made multiple rooms in this house where the goal was to decode a bunch of different clues, ultimately trying to create the super fuel so you could escape. I had a lot of the components implemented, but after doing more research on genres, I found that the puzzle platform genre just doesn't really sell very well. There's a great 2018 GDC talk from Eric Johnson on this that's worth taking a listen to. Around that same time, I had come up with an idea for a management simulator, which I had heard was a much more lucrative genre. And that's how Money Laundry was born. Just what I always wanted. <laughs> so now I'm working on Money Laundry, which is gonna be my first commercial game. It's a much smaller game than my previous one, and so I guess you could say it's a little bit more manageable. <laughs> <laughs> My goal is to get a good MVP put together, which I guess you could say is maybe a little bit more of a demo or like vertical slice. I'm sure the people who think that those terms should be completely different are probably raging right now. So yeah, that's my story. I'd love to hear more about your game dev journey though down in the comments, so please comment down below. If you wanted to subscribe too, that'd be pretty neat. I appreciate you all and I'll see you next week.